It's back home for the UNCW men's soccer team as the Seahawks welcome North Florida, Elon, and Campbell to the UNCW Soccer Stadium, the Courtyard by Marriott, Wrightsville Beach Classic this weekend. Joined now by the head coach of the Seahawks, Aiden Haney, and coach, through that first weekend, 1-0-1 on the year, a tie against High Point, and then a huge win at UNCG on Monday night. Give us uh, your sense of how the weekend went in that first week of the regular season. Yeah, obviously we would like to have got off to a winning start against High Point, but uh, High Point came in and defended very well, so uh, it was a difficult night for us, and the tie was probably a fair result on the evening. And going up to UNCG, it's a very difficult place to play in an in-state rival. Uh, we did very well, the players, I thought, uh, performed admirably and uh, did well to get us a 2-1 victory on the road. So, uh, yeah, I think we're coming along. I think we're progressing nicely. A lot of standouts over the first course of the two games. First, Sean Melvin gets a shutout Friday night and then allows just one goal on Monday. Talk about his leadership in guiding that defense to just one goal in the two contests. Yeah, I mean, he's, he's obviously got a lot of presence and uh, he's talented, so um, you know, it's going to be tough to get by him. But I think as a group, the group in front of him defended very, very well. I thought Michael Meekham and Matt Morgan were outstanding. Um, in both games, um, so that bodes well for us. And you know, as a team, as a, as a group, uh, they're buying into how we want to defend. And they're, they're working very hard. Then on Monday night, it was Colin Bonner and Nathaniel Goodwin teaming up for both goals, each tallying an, a marker with an assist. And talk about how they were able to work well together in the first couple of games, and what that could prove to be for uh, the Seahawks going forward. Yeah, I'm excited about that that partnership because they. You know, when you work with players, you, you see where they just get a little bit of understanding and they, you see them almost relishing uh, playing together and feeding off of one another and, and reading what each, what each player is going to do. So I see that developing every day in training. So uh, that, that bodes well for us and it's exciting that uh, they both got on the board and they, you want your striker scoring goals. Look ahead to this weekend, North Florida, a team you haven't seen before coming in on Friday night. Uh, give us a sense of what you're seeing from the Ospreys as you prepare to scout for that opponent and uh, what might work for you guys in trying to be successful? Well, they're a talented team. They're a talented attacking team. They've got some weapons that, that uh, you know, it can turn a game for them. So very much so we've got to be very uh, very well organized defensively. Uh, Derek does a good job. Coach Marinovic does a good job with his team and he's got some talented players. So it's, uh, it's, it's college soccer and every game's a difficult one and, and they're certainly a good opponent. Um, so not an easy, not an easy home home opener for our tournament, but uh, like I said, all the games are tough. Then on Sunday, you face Campbell, longtime rivals meeting for the 50th time, and last year you went up to Bowie's Creek and, and escaped with a one nothing victory. Uh, what do you see out of the Camels, and, and how tough of a matchup is that going to be? Well, they've got a new coach in Dustin Fonda, who just moved over from High Point, and uh, we'll see them on Friday night and get a sense of what they can do. Anytime you play someone who's just up the road, it's a, it's a local derby, so uh, it, it, all the games have been close. I thought we played very well there last year, uh, but again, there's been a coaching change, and um, maybe Dustin's doing things a little bit differently with that group, but uh, we'll uh, see them Friday night, have a get better handle on them. For right now, we're looking at North Florida, and, and that's our, our only concern right now. In general, for the weekend, where are going to be some keys to success for the Seahawks? Well, we've got to be good uh, on both sides. You know, we've, we've done well in possessing the ball. I think we're getting the flow better um, with what we're trying to do on the attacking side of things. Defensively, again, we want to make sure that, you know, against the, the types of opponent like in North Florida, you, you can't be, uh, you, you can't let your guard down. So uh, we, we've definitely got to, got to make sure that side's good. But from an attacking standpoint, we've got to take care of the ball and make sure that we're, uh, we're doing some things in the attacking third that uh, we've been working on that, that can probably execute and finish our chances. Tickets available at uncwsports.com. Coach, thanks for the time. We'll chat with you during the course of the weekend. Sounds good. Thanks.